Hey, welcome to a Feature Friday. This is a feature that I'm kind of shocked um, when I hear people not using because I just feel like it's so important and so powerful, but um, it definitely does come up, so I wanted to show everybody. Notification Center. So from Admin, Notification Center, you can create custom notification rules and have them hook into a number of different things and do a lot of cool stuff with notifications. So I'll just um, hit edit on one I've got here to kind of show you what these look like. So I've got some custom things enabled. Um, I've got pushover and slack enabled. I went in the app center and turned on the slack integration um, and pushover sends you like push notifications to your mobile device. Um, that's another thing in the app center and you can also put a pushover key um, right on a notification rule. So different rules can push notification to different people, different devices. Um, so I'll just take you through this. You name the rule, you say which users it applies to, that'll um, hook into their email. You can put everybody in one, you can make one rule for everybody, kind of layer them however you want. Um, so if you're using pushover, that key goes here. If you've got a custom app or tool or something that you want to do a webhook integration with, if you're a developer you probably know what this is, if you don't, maybe don't worry about it, but you could have notifications send data to a custom application you've built. Um, so a lot of the hackers out there enjoy that one. You can add additional emails to notify, um, and then additional SMSs. These do use your SMS credits. We pay for these, or if you're using Clickatel, they'll use your Clickatel. Um, you can have SMS messages for certain things. So then all these different events, you just check how you want them to trigger. Um, a really good one to have is email for lead created, lead replied. Um, this will turn on three-way email. Actually, a few different things you should have email notifications on. Um, lead created, lead replied are good. Um, contract, someone replied. Customer email, someone replied. Uh, estimate, all these email is replied to ones. Um, skip over the ticket ones, invoice, email was replied to, invoice and email was emailed to the customer. Okay, so if you have these email ones turned on, when you get these specific email ones, you can actually reply to these. It'll put your email on the, so if an estimate is emailed to a customer and they reply, and you have this turned on, you'll get an email with their customer's message, and you can reply to that email it'll attach it to the estimate and it'll also send your email to the customer then they can reply to that that reply will come to you again so you can actually do a full like email communication without logging into the app if you want by using these um, email is replied to and lead created lead replied these two work really well if you're mobile a lot when a new lead comes in you can hit reply hey thanks for writing us maybe ask a question then when they reply to that, you're replying to them, it's all threaded and on the lead. Um, so those two are really good to have emails turned on for. If you think something's really important, you can just turn on an SMS. Maybe an estimate is approved, um, estimate is approved, declined. Maybe you want an SMS for these, I don't know. Um, and then Slack is really handy. If you're not using Slack, you should check it out. It's kind of like IRC, but more modern, businessy. They've got really good mobile apps. So um, yeah, team chat. If you turn that on, you can have these automated messages popping into different chat rooms. Um, so you can have a rule per location if you're a big chain. and um, You can have different notifications going to different people based on the location. Um, a lot of stuff you can do in here. If you've got any feedback or improvements you'd like us to make in this section, we're always open to looking into those and making adjustments. Let us know.